that many gangsters, mafias, mobsters, rulers, generals, commanders, conquerors, warriors have come and gone. They were known for their plan of attack. They were known for their leadership. They were known for their technique. Some, they were known for their military expeditions. And those guys who want to be gangsters, open the books of history and you will come to an understanding that you ain't no gangster, you just a fake wannabe Scarface. Why? Because history says that Genghis Khan was the ruler of the Mongol Empire. Tatmus, he was the ruler of the Egyptian Empire. Darius, he was the ruler of the Persian Empire. Alexander, he was the ruler of the Macedonian Empire. Julius, he was the ruler of the Roman Empire. Sheng, he was the ruler of the Chinese Empire. Rurik, he was the ruler of the Russian Empire. Attila, he was the ruler of the Hunic Empire. Charles, he was the ruler of the Frankish Empire. Napoleon, he was the ruler of the French Empire. But in the sight of men, these guys hold some weight. But in the sight of Allah, the King of all kings, the master of the day of judgment, these guys are more lighter than a mosquito's wing. In the land of the Muslims, in the land of the Mushrikeen, you have the fake 21st century homemade wannabe gangsters. You clop, you pop, you pop pills, and all of a sudden man thinks he's a gangster. You oppress women, and all of a sudden man thinks he's a bad man. You slander women because they have reached somewhere on the career ladder and you don't like it. You listen to the devil's music, and all of a sudden man thinks he's 50 cent. You cruise around with your boys, with your girlfriends, blasting the devil's music, smoking weed, smoking ganja. Fear Allah, fear Allah, fear Allah. And if you don't fear Allah, then wait for the punishment of Allah to descend.